Hey Cozy Mystery friends! If you're new here, I'm Ashley and this is Cozy Mystery Tea Time. Today I want to talk about a series that I've been reading and I think you're going to love it if you haven't read it already. It's the Coffee Lovers Mystery Series by Tara Lush. Before we get started, if you can't tell, I'm coming to you from kind of a new space. Um, I've set aside a little room in my home um, for videos, so I'm trying to make it cozy and kind of cozy creepy at the same time. So if you'll notice, I've got this guy back here. Um, he's my new cozy mystery friend. And leave me a comment below what you think I should name him. Okay, let's get started talking about the Coffee Lover Mystery Series. I love this series. I On the second book right now, I just read the first book called Grounds for Murder, and it was great. Um, it's set on a small Florida island called Devil's Beach, and our sleuth is Lana Lewis. She was a big-time reporter winning all kinds of prizes in Miami, but she gets fired, and at the same time her marriage falls apart, um, and she returns back home. Um, she grew up on Devil's Beach, and her parents run a coffee shop, so she's kind of taking over the business from her parents and, um, you know, getting into that kind of business. Not really sure where she's going in life because she's trained to be a journalist, um, but is now a, a barista. In a lot of ways, this book is your typical cozy mystery. So if you're looking for your classic cozy, pick this book up. It's got small town quirky characters, charming setting, and of course, a murder mystery. And not to mention, it's also got a really cute dog. So that's everything I'm looking for. If I could give this book an award, it would be book that I'm most likely to watch if it was turned into a TV show. So Hallmark, Netflix, if any of you are listening, please pick up this book series and turn it into a show. I would watch every single episode. Beachy setting, um, there's a tr love, you know, love relationship, will they, won't they, between Lana and the police chief. There are so many quirky characters. I would totally watch this. So who should read this book? Um, right now, I live in the South, so it's very springy outside right now. The flowers are blooming, the sun is shining. You might not be in the South like me. You might be still very much in winter time. So if you're feeling like, I can't take another winter day, read this book. It will transport you to the beach. Also, if you've read books like The Cookie House Mysteries, set in the Florida Keys, and other beachy reads and you really enjoyed them, this book will also be definitely for you. Here's another person that this book could be for. I love cozy mysteries set in New England. They're fantastic. What's cozier than New England? Um, but there are so many set in Maine, in New England, in Salem, all these places. Let's shake things up by setting it in a beach. That, to me, shakes things up, and I appreciated the more unique setting. All right, that's all from me today. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to name my friend in the comments. Have a great day.